What's going on, guys? I'm Ricky. This is Melvin. This Hello. is the gorgeous, Woo! the lovely Charlie Hedges. We're from the Kiss Breakfast Show. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> okay. Read it out. Have you ever arrived to work with a monster hangover? Let me answer that question. <laughs> yes, he has. It was what? my birthday. <laughs> To be fair, I think we've all done that at one point uh, yeah. uh, during our time on the show. So yes, yes, but I think I think I probably had the worst hangover out of all of us, yes. isn't it? Like out of all of us. The one where you didn't turn up. <laughs> yeah, that, would, that, would, that would have been the worst. <laughs> so? All right, my turn. Oh, a bit worried. Me. How do you cope with getting up so early in the morning? Fifteen day mascara and a cup of coffee when I get in. The end. <laughs> what would be your ideal day? You don't really do dates, though, do you? I don't, but Kim Kardashian. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Not even where. Just, just Kim Kardashian. <laughs> All right, um, what's your favorite takeaway? Mm. Boy, Thai food. It's good, it's good. Do you take that away, though, no? Well, yeah. Well, I do restaurants a lot, but if I can, because I don't, I don't like to waste anything. <laughs> <laughs> so doggy bag. Doggy bag. Doggy bag. Well, so yeah, yeah, yeah go, I have that go. as a takeaway. All right, next one. What's the weirdest thing? someone has sent in. Um, Spongebob Squarepants. I like Spongebob Squarepants, but I don't like him being sent in every day. <laughs> so I had like these um, dot to dot colouring books. You know like when you was really young, you had the numbers, you had to join them all up. Yeah. Someone sent that in on a regular basis every day for about a month. Also, we were also sent uh, toilet seats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't know why. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you seats. still took yours home. Yeah, well, I'm from South London, we need that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. Have you ever had a row on air? I don't think we've had a row, but we've, we've had heated discussions. Yeah. It normally comes when it's a polarised opinion. Normally girls versus boys. Yeah. Charlie sticks up for the girls, obviously. We stick up for the boys, and we can never, ever agree. But Charlie always wins, hands down. Yeah. You can't beat her. Girls. A lady. Ooh. Right, next question. Um, tell us about your best ever kiss. <laughs> Glad you got that one. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> My best ever kiss. Think carefully about this one, Mel. This could ruin the rest of your life in terms of dating. Ah, uh, would be this one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is the best. Why do you always get me? Oh, Frank, you're disgusting. Why are you wiping it? <laughs> That's good saliva then. <laughs> How do you prepare for each show? So basically, we go through all the newspapers every day, yep. and we all go online, get material, mm -hmm. and a bulk of what we talk about is based on what we actually get up to yeah. after the show, so like in our own lives, maybe the night before. Yeah, yeah I think that's, they're, they're probably the best stories when they involve you, because it means people listening have probably yeah. had a similar situation. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. What's your most embarrassing moment live on air? Um, most embarrassing moment live on air. Well, there was a when I failed the forty forty challenge. We did this challenge oh, um, yeah. a couple of years ago, and I think I had to sing. Did I have to sing? Yeah. Oh, Chantel? you had to do. I had to sing Chantel T-shirt T-shirt yeah. on, which was horrific. <laughs> I never want to repeat that ever again. You don't want to hear that. Trust me. <laughs> right. You could, if you could only eat one more breakfast for the rest of your life, <laughs> what would you have? So hard, I love food. Question. Charlie loves her food. <laughs> so it might be here a while. <laughs> you might want to get How comfortable. Yeah, mate, so like, yeah. Cheese? What, like, with a chicken? Shut up. Um, one more breakfast. Oh, I've got to think of all occasions. Bacon roll. Mm -hmm. Nice. Brown sauce. I'm going for the brown over the red. It's brown sauce. Choice. I'm I like in. Love Alright, and finally, who would be your dream guest and why? Oh, we know Again. this. Kim Kardashian! <laughs> the end. <laughs> Box is empty. Next reveal. Bye, we love you. Bye! Bye. Ricky and Charlie in the morning, 9.37 right now. It's Kiss. Don't forget, guys, the Kiss Chosen One launches this weekend. It's all about Lakeside Shopping Centre. I'm going to be down there. If you think you could be the next Kiss presenter, then get involved. Right, so at the moment we're doing a competition called The Kiss Chosen One where we're looking for a brand new presenter. Now last year we found the wonderful AJ. Yes. This year we're looking for someone. Uh, the first audition is this weekend with Charlie. Yep, so it's in Essex, Lakeside. You can get all details at kissfmuk.com. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the first one, but you boys have got some as well. Yeah, I'm doing the week after in Croydon, the Wicked Centre in Croydon. I'm going to be on the 24th of March in Westfield, West London. What are you looking for though, Charles? I think someone that's just comes in and beats himself I think. Obviously like you need to want to 
have a career in radio, but come and be yourself. I don't think you can go wrong. Even if you make some mistakes, we're not looking for someone that's perfect straight away. Yeah. But just come and have a good time and enjoy it, really. And the good thing about the Kiss Chosen one is that the proof is in the pudding. AJ won it last year and he's got yeah. like five shows, he's got five great shows on Kiss, so yeah. it's a great Massive. work, man. So if you want to do what we do, get involved with the Kiss Chosen one.